What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we're gonna be kicking off the modern JavaScript course of 2023. And yes, I'm excited because I'm gonna take you from somebody who knows nothing about software development all the way to somebody that could be a professional web developer. So if that sounds exciting to you, hang on to your mice and your keyboards because we're gonna be moving at breakneck speeds. And the first thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be talking about why JavaScript is awesome. And JavaScript is awesome because it's pretty much the platypus of programming languages. It breaks all the rules. A platypus is an animal. If you don't know what it is, it is this. It's a animal that looks like a duck. It looks like a beaver. It's got poisonous barbs. It lays eggs. And all on top of this, it's a mammal. It breaks all the rules. And JavaScript is in the same exact boat. It's a programming language that's object-oriented. It's functional. It's procedural. It's imperative. It's, it has a crazy form of inheritance. And I think that's actually part of the charm of why people love JavaScript so much. It breaks all the rules. And when you're that cute, when you're a platypus, or when you're JavaScript, you can break all the rules that you want to, and nobody's going to say anything. But let's just talk about for real, like why should you really learn JavaScript? Well, the first thing is people want to learn JavaScript because of jobs. You could easily secure a very lucrative job just by learning JavaScript. But I think the real power comes in when you pair JavaScript with a very popular backend language like Node, C Sharp, or Java. And with the fact that JavaScript is so widespread, it makes it so that it will be incredibly easy for you to obtain any type of employment because there's literally hundreds of thousands of people just like me who are cranking out high quality courses at rapid clips, trying to get people into this very lucrative pr profession because there's not enough people who can code. And on top of that, it's really fun and it will increase your skill set. So let's go ahead and talk about the setup. I'm going to be using VS Code. I'm going to be using Google Chrome. I'm going to go show you how to install it. I'm going to show you which extensions that I am going to use. I'm going to show you how to set up your environment. And then we're going to actually just get straight to it. And we're going to start learning JavaScript, like I said, at breakneck pace. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to download what's called Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is a very lightweight editor that's used everywhere and has pretty much become the de facto standard of JavaScript development. And I am not going to argue about any other editor because I believe that Visual Studio Code is the best editor out there, bar none. So First thing that you want to do, go ahead, smack that download for Windows, go all the way through the install process. It's not complicated at all. I would install it, but I don't want to corrupt my current Visual Studio Code installation and the installation itself is very easy. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to install Google Chrome. Google Chrome is going to provide you with the actual JavaScript engine. You could use Mozilla Firefox, you could use Internet Explorer, but in 99% of cases, you want to use Google Chrome because it is the fastest and it is the most modern browser by far on the internet today. So go ahead, download Google Chrome. It'll be a quick, painless installation and you will get access to the amazing JavaScript engine. So after you get it installed, what you want to do is you want to go to your documents folder and make a folder called JavaScript JavaScript course, doesn't really matter what you call it, but just go ahead and make a folder. And then the next thing that you want to do is when you actually get into that folder, go ahead, open, right click and open with code. And if you didn't see what I did there, just to kind of slow down a little bit, go ahead, right click, you'll see the Visual Studio code, go ahead, click that and open it up just like this. You will see all types of crazy stuff right here, but really what you want to do is go ahead and start installing the, ex the required extensions that we're going to need. So the first one that you want is you want Live Server. Live Server is going to allow us to be able to uh, quickly make a web page and host all of our code on a uh, server. And the server is going to do this. If you don't know exactly what a server 
what a server is. You don't need to know it right now, but just go ahead and install live server and that will get you started in the right direction. The next thing that you want to do is you want to probably, I mean, you don't have to do this, but I install the material icon theme because I think it makes it look way better. Also, I install the night out theme. I think adding a dark theme will really help your eyes out if you're gonna be developing professionally or if you're really trying to get a job, I would go ahead and install a dark theme. I use Night Owl. Uh, you could also install any other one that you want to, but Night Owl, Material Icon Theme, Live Server, and you're pretty much good to go. So next thing that you want to do is go into this little folder thing right here. And what we're going to do is we are going to create an HTML file and we're just going to call it index.html. When you installed Visual Studio Code, you probably didn't realize this, but you actually installed something called Emmet as well too. And Emmet is going to make it so that we can quickly use something called snippets. Snippets in web development are pretty much just cookie cutter HTML that we use all the time so that you don't have to type it out all the time. So in order just to quickly throw up some HTML on your web page so that you can actually start developing really quickly is just to do a exclamation mark. You'll see this right here. And what you want to do is either click it or press enter. And this will give you all of your actual uh, HTML that you need in order to see code or see HTML. The next thing that you want to do is Here's two ways that you can actually put JavaScript on a web page. We can go ahead and open up this index.html web page by uh, just right clicking and hitting the open live server just like this. And what will happen is that you will quickly be represented with this web page. So we can test our web page is actually working here. So I'm just going to close this and I'm going to bring this over here. And I you can choose whatever you want to, but this is the way I've done it probably for years. I always have my Visual Studio up just like this and I move my actual web page over right here and I drag it over so that I can have both of them on an actual web page. And we're going to test to make sure that this is actually working by going over here and typing uh, test or whatever you want to. And what will happen as soon as you hit control S, so what you want to do is you want to hit the uh, keys control and S to save it. Otherwise it will not refresh this web page. or you could just hit the refresh button as well too. That works, but go ahead, throw an H H1 in here. If you don't know what an H1 is, it's just HTML and then put some test in there or put your name, make sure that your live server is working. And then what we want to do is we want to actually test that we have working JavaScript or that JavaScript is working on our web page. And there's actually two places that you can put JavaScript. There's actually many ways that you could do it, but I'm going to show you the most common ways and the ways that you're going to see when you actually start working. So you could put your JavaScript in here and you could go in here and just log to the console and if, like, like I said, if you don't know what a lot of this stuff is, just kind of follow along and it will start to make sense over the, over time. But what you want to do is you also want to test to make sure that your JavaScript is working. And you do that by either putting script tags right below the title or right before the ending body tag. Do not put, this is a, a big mistake that I actually made is I used to put the script in here uh, below the body, never do that. And in fact, I would always recommend if I could give anybody like a good piece of advice is that you always want to put your script tag down here because there is a thing that will happen where JavaScript will not load a lot of times if it's up here in, in the header tag. So make sure that you put it either down here, you could put it anywhere that you want to. I showed you those two ways, but if I had to tell people the way that you're probably gonna see it when you start working is it's going to be right down here. And there are certain circumstances where you will not want it to be there, but for just for beginners you know, sake, let's not get too carried away here. Let's just make sure that we can go ahead and test it. So put your script tag right before the ending body tag. And then what you want to do is you want to go over to your browser, right click, 
and go to inspect. So just go to your browser, click, right click, go to inspect. You could also hit F12. There's a lot of people who like to just go to their browser and hit F12. I'm a right click kind of guy. So I just right click and I go to inspect and we want to go into our console and make sure that you are seeing your actual console.log right here. And like I said, if you don't know what a lot of this stuff is right now, don't worry about it. It will make more sense as we continue on. Just at this point, we're just trying to make sure that our actual setup is working so that we can actually start learning. So just make sure you've got your script tag, make sure that you have opened up your Chrome tools, make sure that you have your actual browser open, make sure that you are seeing your name or whatever that you put into here, you could put test, make sure that when you click control S or when you save that it refreshes and it shows the value that you have in your console log and in your script tag and you should be good to go. Okay, so our script tag is working. We are all set up. We have proved that all of our actual code is working. Let's move on to the next video and let's get this course going. Anyways, hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to smack that like button, make sure to smack that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.